Hi, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. It's Monday morning, or rather Monday afternoon. Uh, it's a nice day here. I tried to make a video on Friday, and I found that after talking for 20 minutes, I had pushed the photograph button rather than the video button and so <laughs> it didn't work uh, but what I wanted to say on Friday was that I had spent you know Wednesday Thursday and Friday being tortured with this high frequency sound you know so fucking loud it makes you want to throw up and the headache you know it feels like somebody's sticking pencils through your brain and no amount of uh, over-the-counter prescription or under-the-counter medications would help only a little um, I found that leaving the house leaving the room and walking around and getting some fresh air helped. But, you know, at minus five degrees and shit, what are you supposed to do? Go sleep in the park? You can't, you'll get arrested. And, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter where I go because every time we move, the high frequency is there, you know, the next day or that night or whatever, and it's just a matter of refocusing a satellite or a weapon on a satellite or configuring some grid of resonant energy, who knows. Anyway, um, yeah, that was pretty much my weekend, you know. Uh, incapacitated, sick, weak, panic attacks, you know, all the same complaints. Uh, the other thing they do to me is they hit me with this beam of, you know, what it feels like to me is uh, what I would imagine a active denial system feels like. An active denial system is a microwave, usually a centimeter microwave, millimeter microwave, I'm not sure. Microwave at a particular frequency to where it'll heat up the skin, the cells, to a certain depth. Now this weapon, uh, and usually it's a broad, a broad screen weapon, you know, it, it it covers a, an area of a certain amount of degrees in front of you. It's used as a crowd control weapon. Oh God. The, um, the thing that they beam on me, I forgot my, my breathing spray. Psh, psh. Um, anyway, the thing that they, they beam on me feels to me like a pencil size, again, uh, beam, focused, narrow, focused beam on a low setting and it causes heating and pain and pain, you know, down to your bones, in your bones in your muscles, in your cartilage, in your tendons, in your nerves and, uh, excuse me, it hurts, you know they play this over me as I'm laying in bed, which is, you know, like 75% of what I do with my time. Just lay in bed. Uh, that's the subway up there. If you see down here, I don't know if you can see it, but way down there. There's some blue shipping containers. I spoke to that guy. He rents a lot. 
uh, actually two lots he rents. And I was trying to rent, you know, space from him. But he says that uh, they're trying to get him out already. This subway sound, by the way, this is the elevated train, uh, the J train running above me. This subway sound, which is so loud, there was a room that Patreon and I looked at recently, which is on the, the curve of this subway. I don't, you can hear it now. It starts to go and squeak and squeal. And uh, before, when they go fast, they make a really loud squeal. I mean, it, anyway, the room we looked at was right. You open the window, you look out the window, and there's the subway tracks, like right there. A big concrete barrier and the subway tracks. And it was so loud. And we said, how do you deal with the sound? He said, oh, you get used to it after a few weeks. And we listened to it, and it was so loud. It shook the whole room. And we left, we said thank you. We were laughing about it. Just, the suicide room, you know, you live in there for a few weeks. And... Anyway, um... yeah, so they burned me with this pencil size heat beam or whatever, and they seem to like to burn my ankles and my thighs and my, my shins and calves, bones, bones, and my head, of course, organs, lungs, heart. And you can feel this thing cooking you. It's like, a, you know, it causes pain, intense pain in a tiny little, you know, the beam is probably not even pencil size. It's probably a mic, you know, micrometer size. But the pain radiates out from this. All right, now we get to walk by the garbage truck. That's the stinky garbage truck. Lots of those in New York. Uh, yeah, living in the city, is at one point in my life it was fantastic it was amazing all this stuff all these people all this energy and now after being targeted i just want to get away from it but i'm stuck here because i have all the things that i need you know within i can get on a train i can walk i don't drive i don't have money for a car Anyway, I wish I had more to say that was uplifting and whatever, but I don't, so God bless you all. I got court tomorrow, court for this lady charging me with beating her up. Say a prayer, maybe it'll get dismissed. Thanks for watching. God bless you, that's my story and I'm sticking to it.